This is King One. Start recorders on countdown at X minus 30 seconds. 9 to 5, uh, turn your DPN 31 off. We still do not have a track on a missile beacon. Missile flight safety advises if we lose a skin track on the bird, command recovery will be initiated. 9-5, moving to left-hand turn, 15-degree bank angle. Uh, Roger, 6 uh, Raj, 9-4-8, uh, we'll uh, talk this over again with missile flight safety. All personnel, clear the white room. All personnel, clear the white room. 9-5 uh, missile operator, we will run through our tone checks, advise if the light flickers or goes out. Proceed. Uh, roger, coming through 185. Roger, roll out 170. 9-5, uh, we discuss this again with missile flight safety. And as long as we have a plot on you and you have visual contact on the bird, you will let the bird continue flying. Uh, Jerry, I've got to interrupt your excuse. Interior cameras are on. Spacecraft mics all on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. It's a faster rise than that of Alan Shepard's rocket. It's very true. Very steady. It's almost twice as fast on liftoff as Shepard's rocket was. There's less fume and smoke coming from the tail. It's a very hot ignition. This one is going to pick up speed very early. Rising straight. Very straight. Very true. It looks beautiful. Tower jettison, confirmed by the pilot, confirmed in the control center. We got capsule separate, manual handle is out, the sky is very, very black, the capsule is coming around into orbit attitude. Getting some of the re entry activity at this time. in the control center that the drogue parachute has deployed. We have a main chute deployment indication. He's going through some clouds at 2,000 feet on the way down. Like so many other historic spaceflight artifacts, our capsule went to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., where it was on display for about 12 seconds. Excuse me, sir. You can't do that here. Can't? Uh, uh, well, I... You can't do that here. Not here. You can't do that here.